I've been there. You have dreams on your list, goals that you want to achieve, that all sound great, but seem very far away. We shut ourselves down, but the fire to do something else still exists within us. And every day that goes by, we allow a little bit of ourselves to die inside because we choose not to act on the things that we want or choose to pretend that the desires within our heart are not important enough to take action or simply just don't exist. So maybe you extend the task to the next day or the next week. The next thing you know, you blink and it's into the next month and you still haven't done anything on your list or accomplished the things that you wanted to. Maybe it's been six months and you're still in the same place. I had a season that lasted several years of my life that I wasn't myself. It was easier for me to be and do nothing. Maybe it was because I was an adult suffering from ADHD undiagnosed, but it was strange. I had this blockage, this wall. I knew exactly what I wanted. I, I even knew the steps. But because those steps involved me putting myself out there in new ways and taking myself outside of my comfort zone, I chose to put myself on pause and do nothing. When you're in motion, the inertia brings about this lack of control that I just could not accept. Because I so desperately wanted to control everything and I knew that moving forward put me in an orbit that was outside of my control. I tricked myself into believing that existing in my nothingness was better and felt better than actually moving forward. My ego was content in this known of my being, but my spirit wanted more. My soul was suffering. I knew that I needed to change. In this video, I will share how I changed from being an observer in my life to a star player and ways that made it easier for me to just stand up in my life and take the life that I want. Let's get started. I think one of the most important things I did was self-research. I took the time to not only get to know myself and what I wanted, but how I can create a life to do those things. And if we've been in a school system for more than half of our lives, and then after that, we enter these jobs where our employers want us to put more of our energy into being an entity outside of our individual selves, We've been conditioned on how well we can regurgitate information, not actually what we want. We've been through standardized testing and all of these things that kind of define us as um, an asset to where we are by how well we can conform. That when it is actually time for us to answer the question, what it is that we actually want, there's a pause. Some people aren't sure. And I'm not asking, what did you Google? What would make you the most money and then pursue that path? What do you actually want that sets your heart on fire? What type of schedule do you want to have in your day to day? If you decide that you don't want to work for the rest of your life, that is valid. How are you going to do that and still survive in this economy and actually make a plan, actually do research, actually see what other people do? to have the lifestyle that you actually want and go in that direction. I think so many people are not able to do the things that we want because we don't know that it's possible up until we actually take the time out to do the research. I think in this process of like being lazy and getting out of laziness, it's really about fighting for yourself. And I think sometimes we just get so fatigued from the Western education system and our economy that we really do not have the energy to put forth the effort in ourselves and in our lives and in the lives that we actually want. And this is the hardest part. You actually have to wake up and decide that you are worth fighting for. Decide that the life that you want in your dreams are worth making the decision to figure yourself out in a real way. I remember when I was in high school, when I was in school, there were so many people that knew what they wanted. They knew what they wanted out of life. And I was like an artist and I, I knew that I was creative. I knew I had more talent in my pinky than more than half of the people at my school. Literally. I didn't know what options were available for me for the type of person that I am. 
You know, I didn't know that I could be a speaker. I didn't know that maybe um, I could be a coach or all of these things that are available for um, public speakers. I was just not aware of that because I didn't know anyone that was doing those things. And that's valid. A lot of people that I was going to school with, they either wanted to be in mass communications, they wanted to be lawyers, they wanted to be doctors. There were programs to help them, but for what I wanted specifically, I just didn't see a lane for myself. And it made me feel so annoyed and like so done with school that I'm like, uh, this just, the whole thing isn't for me. But it was also a piece of me being young and not really knowing exactly what I wanted, which is another thing. I think when it comes to people pursuing their dreams, we just don't know what they are yet because we don't know what's available for us. And once we know, and it's in our mind, actually fight enough for yourself to make it happen. Have you ever seen like people's social medias or there's a social media girl or person that you like and they're popping, they have all of these opportunities, they're lit, they're traveling, they're doing all of these things and you're like, wow, what is the secret? What is their, what do they do? And what if they told you that they just followed their dreams? And when they do, when they did that, there was a lane, there was a slot open for them because that was what they were always meant to do. And they were able to be provided for because that was what they were meant to do. And when you are deciding what that thing is, don't think about the money because the money will come. And no matter what you do, money comes. But if you're living a life where you're receiving money and you're not fulfilled, it's a much unhappier existence than if you just decided what actually brings you joy and then taking the direction towards that. So do the research on yourself. Fight for yourself enough to ask yourself the hard questions of what you actually wanted, not what your family has done, not what you know could get you a quick bag, but what do you want? The next thing is making necessary sacrifices for the things that you want. And this is also a very hard part. It's when you're in the in-between. When you know so much of what you want, now you actually have to take action. And you realize taking the action may put you in a worse position than where you were before. But it takes a level of trust and faith that you made the right decision for yourself. Most of the times the things that we want seem so far away because they actually are. You love marketing, you love design, you watch videos about it because you're just truly passionate about it. And you maybe haven't had a passion in a very long time, but you're a pharmacy tech and you wake up every day and your day-to-day life is in that world. But in your spare time, your mind is completely somewhere else. And you feel like if you decide to leave your job or leave this XYZ, to put yourself in a position and maybe start from scratch somewhere else, it won't be as beneficial and you won't really receive the resources and the comfortability that you have created in your life right now. And this is where most people settle because the fear of what they don't know about what could potentially happen in the next stage of their life is just too scary to make a decision. I think so many people that have different responsibilities maybe you have children and you just can't see your life outside of being able to provide for them maybe you have a lot more responsibilities in your household and you know that if you took the decision to leave a job or not receive the same amount of money in your paycheck it would do substantial damage to your livelihood and for that i i I can't speak to that outside of the dream and wanting things we have to make really right plans right and everything takes time I'm not saying move drastic because that's not how I move you know but I do want to ask how long do you want your life to be a sacrifice for someone else when do you allow yourself to live in your dreams when will you fight for yourself enough to say like okay I'm actually going to take a pay cut I'm actually going to downsize because I want something else and in order to get there And in order for me to actually be happy, the sacrifice that I make right now has to work out. 
And it may take a couple of years. It may take three or four, but at least I'm going in a direction of what resonates with my spirit, not in something that, that literally when I leave from work, I am in tears on my way home because I'm existing in a life that does not fit me. And I had to do that for myself. I was in school to be a dancer, like legit. I was I danced for many years of my life and I wanted to take the path of being a performer and being a dancer. And when that all kind of fell through, I would go to school and my professor would say, okay, I want you to dance like an orange. And I would literally cry in my little corner where, where we have to like split up and create body choreography, da 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 da, body research. I would literally be on the verge of tears because I felt like an idiot. Not because of what we were doing, because when you're passionate about something, you can make anything work. It was because I knew the passion that I once had when I was younger was completely gone. And I knew that I needed and I wanted something else, but I wasn't there yet. And I had a talk with the head of the theater department at the University of Houston, who the conversation I remember to this day, I told him like, mind you, I have not met this person ever in my life, not, never even passing. I just knew that I wanted to become an actress. And the theater department at the University of Houston was very well known. There were a lot of great actors and performers that came out of that department, like the Big Bang Theory. It was, it was way better than, than the dance department. And I reached out to him via email and I said, hey, I'm dropping out of school. I want to become an actress. Can I meet with you? And he met with me and he took me in his office. We sat down and we chatted and he was just so real with me. He basically said like, you, not only are you crazy, you have to be for wanting something like this, but these are all the things that you need to do. Come back to me in a couple of months, do a monologue for me and, and I'll have you enter my program. And I started working, I started taking all of these acting classes, I did improv, I did all of these things, but my life moved me to Austin. Um, so wherever he is in the universe, like I just appreciate him for actually like looking at me and believing in me. Like he was the first person that I ever told that I wanted to be an actress and it was so random. Just imagine like you're dancing for years of your life. You wake up, you drop out of school, you wanna become an actress and you talk to someone who this is like, okay, I, I was just so, the audacity that I used to have, I mean, I still have it, but like when you're so young and naive and you just don't know, I, I did that and it kind of has taken me to a place that I'm just so grateful for that conversation for that because it really started me on a journey, like this quest of life where I see life so differently now. So make the necessary sacrifices. I don't really want to say like, do something drastic. I did. I dropped out of school before I even told my mom and my life is still not very not perfect. Like there are things in my life, the sacrifices that I made, I feel the remnants of that every single day. But I know I'm much better off where I am right now than I would be had I had gone the course of becoming a dance teacher. So Surrender to the unknown. Whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable in your life situation, you realize the only reason why you're still there is because you know it well enough to control it. It's familiar to you. And sometimes when we think too far ahead into the future of what our dreams could be, the thoughts and all of the things overwhelm us into this humbling where we just stick back to the rivers and the lakes that we're used to. I think what changed for me is I had to just take one step at a time instead of allowing myself to get so overwhelmed or carried away with all of the daydreams and all of my aspirations and the made up scenarios in my mind about what something would be. I had to be real with myself. Like I had to wake up to the present moment of my life. Like girl, 
your mind is way ahead of your body like if you're someone that dreams a lot like I feel like I dream during the day and then at night I use that time to travel into other people's dreams or do whatever because I sleep with my eyes open regardless I dream a lot during the day like I disassociate and my mind is like having a raven vision it's insane and maybe there's a little bit something wrong with me maybe I'm a little slow but I would just get so wrapped up into this world that I created in my mind and then I would wake up to my present moment and it's like girl do something like when it came to YouTube I would have so many dreams about being this influencer and having this 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 fabricated life and I would be doing all of this when I haven't made a single video <laughs> be effing for real girl like it was like I would be fantasizing about my step 132 when I didn't even take step one. So outside of focusing on the things that we cannot see or the things that are out of our control, just focus on the things that we can. Do the one thing. Make the appointment. Make the video. Go to the class. Maybe leave the job. And... And... I think society and this like instant gratification has ruined a lot of people because it makes us not really appreciate the journey and the timing of things like everything takes time and because it starts rough we're afraid of people to see what it looks like when we're starting something when we're new no one cares really all of those things that you think in your mind the judgment no one is judging you you're just judging yourself and the more you do that the more you pro prolong your journey of you actually getting to where you want to be and i realize like being lazy isn't real you just don't know what you want or the things that you want are too far away and you scare yourself into taking action or you automatically psych yourself into the failure. You think about how you're going to fail or because it's going to be rough at first. But it's like, what if you do it and you ace it for the first time? What if you fly? What if you soar? What if you become the greatest thing that the world has ever seen? You never know because you're using majority of your time scrolling or you're sitting on the couch or you're just wasting your time. There's so many people that don't have the will to fight for themselves anymore. Everything is just so played out. They have something negative to say about every single thing that they just work their their days until they're gone. And it's like, because we have access to so many things, the entire world is at your fingertips. And I really want to say that because it truly is. And... I think down the line, I'm not saying move now, like you don't have to do anything different now if you really aren't compelled to, but when you are and you actually get this breath of life back into you, you're going to look back at yourself and be like, man, what the was I doing? Another thing that I want to say is not to judge yourself for where you are. I think even yesterday was a full moon. I've been like recovering from being sick and there were so many things I want to do. I had so much on my heart to say that I wanted to make a video, but it was like, today is my first day off. When I got out of work and I've been at home, I've been talking with my partner and I've just been like, man, I should have did this. Man, I should have used my time wisely. Man, I should have did this. And I'm like literally judging myself. I have this internal battle in my mind about how I could have used my time wisely. I'm so hard on myself about the things that I need to do that I make being around me so not fun and I hate I, well, I don't want to say hate but I really don't like that about myself I'm so tunnel vision about the things that I want and I'm so like I feel like I'm I missed out on so much that I should have done I feel like I've wasted so much of my time so much of my life that now I just want to go 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 and it's like no everything has been slow growth for me and I appreciate that but at the same time like pushing and overdoing it and working myself until I'm sick is not what works for me it's not how I'm gonna get it at the end of the day I truly feel that I have something to share doesn't matter when I share it 
So I have to trust the timing and breathing into what I'm actually doing. And because I know this is where I'm meant to be, I don't need to rush my messages, what I feel, what I need to share. And I don't want you to feel that way either. If you do feel like you're far away from where you want to be, rushing there isn't going to get you there faster as much as you think you are. Trust the timing of your life and trust where you are right now and not judge yourself for finally waking up to who you're meant to be. It takes time and like I don't know how old you guys are. You can let me know if you feel like sharing in the comments. But I'm 29 years old. 29 years old. And I used to look at so many people that were younger than me that were just doing all of these things and be like, damn, like, fuck. It's gonna take me. I'm a little old. But it's like, no. <laughs> Everybody has a, has a place somewhere. And instead of comparing my life and comparing who I am to someone else just go at my own pace and I think a lot of times when you realize you have been in a season of laziness it feels much worse when you're looking at everyone around you and you're comparing where you are to them and you know they say comparison is the thief of joy and it it takes away from so much I feel like you lose a lot of creativity a lot of authenticity a lot of originality when you are comparing yourself to someone else whether it's your journey whether it's the speed and the pace of your life like just go and do you and people are gonna hate it people are gonna like it but how you feel at the end of the day is what matters you know I feel like I was like repenting something just now because, you know, standing up and talking and saying all of these great things is like, yeah, it feels good, but I'm not perfect. Some, some days I'm not good. And the person that sees it the most is my partner. The other day I came home crying because I was so tired from working all day that like, I just felt like a piece of poop. And he kind of had to like talk some sense into me and I really appreciated that. But like, it's very true. Like, relax relax into yourself and don't feel like you were supposed to be anywhere than where you are you know where you are now is a part of your journey and the early stages are when you learn the most when you get the most fuel the most energy to do the things that you need and um yeah don't take this time in your life for granted wherever you are in your life because when you get to that next stage there's going to be something else you're never going to arrive in a place and be like, I'm here. Even when you get there, there's going to be something else. So why not enjoy where you are right now? Thank you so much for all of your feedback on the videos, you guys. You have no idea how much your testimonies and things that have gone in your life and how my videos resonate with you have been so reassuring for me that I'm like actually doing what I should be doing. So you have no idea how awesome you guys are and... Thank you for being and wanting to be a part of this community, my journey, and I'm super excited to see where we go from here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.